good morning guys so today in this video I'll be sharing you Java 8 interview questions that will be asked you in all the interview interviews if you say you have worked on Java 8 and these are the theoretical questions that I am going to share you because the coding we have already started a different series on that so all the coding questions will be covered there and these are mandatory questions that all the Java developers should know if they say they are working on Java 8 so coming to the first question what are the features that got introduced in Java 8 so you can list down all the features that got introduced in Java 8 I when I answer I specifically answer those features that I have worked like if I if someone asked me on what all features that got introduced in Java 8 I would say streams default and static methods lambda expressions functional interfaces optional class and method references and apart from this there were few other enhancements as well on JDK or a hash map or you can say on date time API but as I haven't worked on that I am not that much sure on what exact enhancements has happened over there so this way I answer it's up to you how you want to answer because if you are answering all the features that got introduced definitely there are high chances that interviewer will ask you questions on that and as you have not worked on it and there are few chances that you may not answer it properly so this is my way of answering so it's up to you how you answer so next question is what advantages java 8 brings like what actual advantages that java 8 bring so here are the few advantages that i personally feel that java 8 brought in like the code is more concise and readable now more reusable now it is easily testable and maintainable uh, now both highly concurrent and scalable uh, like you know we can write parallel code we can perform database kind of operations which is one of the interesting part of java 8 uh, applications now perform better as they are performing parallelly the performance increases and the and the code is uh, like more productive we can say like uh, within less amount of time we can do a lot of coding so these are the few advantages that i feel java 8 brought in if you have any other advantages that you feel you can please comment it out in the comment section so that it might be helpful for me as well for every other people who are watching this video next question what enhancements have been done to JDK so this is one important interview question for especially for experienced candidates so now if you are aware of how what enhancements that has been happened that is good if you don't have, uh, know what has happened so now the pungen got removed and it is replaced by metaspace so what advantage metaspace is like what uh, what issue we used to have with perm is it was of a fixed size once the size used to extend used to get exception but now coming to metaspace it can grow dynamically so that is the advantage that metaspace provides now so that is one of the biggest advantage we can see next question how like or how hashmap works in java 8 you, you can face this question or how or what enhancements has been done on java 8 this can be the question both questions state the same thing so if you I am assuming that you know how Java 8 works internally so Java 8 internally uses buckets so a hash code is calculated on the key and it will be placed in the bucket uh, like index will be calculated and it will be placed in the bucket now uh, the enhancement that has been done here is after a certain threshold like if all the key so everything is getting resetted at the same bucket for the same index after a certain threshold instead of link will list uh, hashmap now will use balance tree so this is a new enhancement that has happened so instead of using link will list and traversing each and every object now it is using balance tree what how lambda expressions and functional interfaces are related so as far as i know lambda expressions can be worked only upon abstract methods like uh, on functional interface both will go in hand in hand because on the abstract the single abstract method that is present on that only lambda expressions will work uh, if i am wrong you can comment it out because you, uh, as far as i know that is the only thing that is where only lambda expressions can be worked what is stream pipelining so stream pipelining is 
nothing but uh, we are what you can say we are uh, joining multiple intermediate operations so you um, I hope you are aware of what are intermediate operations so intermediate operations are nothing but it won't give us a final result instead of if it if it is working on a stream it will again um, return a stream so multiple streams will can be uh, multiple uh, intermediate operations can be performed so that is called stream pipelining and at the end we need a terminal operator I hope everyone is aware that uh, what are the terminal operations or what are intermediate operations so intermediate operations are lazy and we we need a terminal operation at the end to invoke intermediate operation what are functional interfaces so functional interfaces are nothing but those interfaces which are having only one abstract method and it can have different multiple default and static methods or it can override the object class methods as well so by the, it was already present before java 8 as well we had comparator comparable runnable callable these are the interfaces which can be called functional interfaces and when they say this there can be a question like can you create your own cus uh, custom uh, can you create your own functional interface so yes we can create using a thread functional interface we can create uh, our own functional interface and if at all we are annotating the inter uh, interface with the thread functional interface and if we are defining two like multiple abstract methods then at the compile time itself we will get the exception so this would be there would be one more question on this as well so what will happen if at all I am using a thread functional interface and I am uh, defining multiple abstract methods inside that interface so a compile time issue will come there what is method reference in Java 8 so method reference is nothing but uh, a compact uh, you can say the, a compact way of lambda expression so you can see the syntax like class name and method name can be given so directly we can call that method without double braces or we can call this what is optional why and how can you use it and basically what is optional class and what is the advantage of optional, optional class can be asked so optional class is nothing but all like it's a new uh, class that got introduced in java 8 and it is basically used to avoid uh, multiple null checks and to avoid uh, null pointer exception i have seen all there is an already uh, a video on optional class in the queue so i am not creating uh, I am not uh, going in deep on this so this is one of the important interview question like what is optional class again what are default methods needed in the interface what, like sorry why are default methods needed in the interface so default methods let you add new functionality to the, your libraries like if at all there are 100 classes and sorry 100 classes that are implementing an interface and if you want to add a new functionality you need to go and change those all 100 classes now instead of that we can directly add a default method inside an interface and we can we can achieve our, our requirement there what's the difference between find first and find any so find first and find any are both uh, terminal operations so find first will return the first element meeting the criteria while find any returns any element meeting the standard a feature that is very useful when working in with parallel stream so these were the top questions you can say that top theoretical questions you can say that you can encounter in at least five questions out of this 10 to 12 questions you will encounter in every interview so th that's it of the video if you haven't subscribed us you, you can subscribe you can if you like the video you can like press the like button if you want to share you share it on the t other technical platform so that others might know about these questions and you can provide the feedback in the comment section as well so who are we and what we do we are basically a bunch of software engineers who attend videos and and create our videos based on those interviews like interview experience we are sharing through these videos and if you see the number of companies that that the company needs that are getting printed on the screen so up to now we have shared these many company interviews already and there are few others that are in the queue uh, you can visit our channel and take advantage of by watching all these videos this will definitely help you because we receive a lot of mails saying like thank you mails saying that our channel is helping them in getting their jobs and we feel really happy because uh, the earlier we thought at least 10 people get uh, like helpful uh, that is uh, enough for us but now like we get lot more than 
like in hundreds we get them in we are, we are sorry that we sometimes don't get a chance to reply back to all but uh, if you want to share your interview experiences or if you have any queries you can reach us at the email id that is there in the description as well and if you are, uh, want to contribute us uh, like financially or uh, you can click on the amazon affiliation link that is there in the description and you can buy if at all you are buying anything you can make use of this link and buy so that we may get some commission out of the amount that you spent there and that's it for this video i hope this video helped you and thanks for watching